Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. So when you're seeing this video, it's going to be Thursday. It's going to be March 2nd, and I will have returned from my vacation. So um, I took I took a little break from YouTube, took about a week or so off, and uh, I just want to let you know that I'm back. I have returned. I'm not gone, as uh, maybe some people might have speculated or might have um, you know been wondering about. I'm not leaving at all for for no reason at all. I will be here on YouTube doing doing what I'm doing, doing what I do best, which is let's plays and walkthroughs and you know playthroughs and all sorts of stuff. Um, I, I've taken some time to just kind of take a step back and think about what's going on with YouTube and school and and work and all that kind of stuff, and I've really collected my thoughts, and so I really do feel um, a lot better now about what what what's going on here. I've got a plan, I've got a game plan. I feel rejuvenated. I feel more than ever. I feel like I want to get back to doing what I love to do, which is which is YouTube. And so, first off, I got to give a big shout out to all you guys. Thank you so much for you know your support. I've seen a lot of comments, a lot of positive support from the community, and uh, you know you guys give me good advice. Seriously, you know you can't you can't get burned out. You gotta you gotta keep going. You gotta keep pushing. You know I gotta take take the time that I need for myself and for for my responsibilities as well. And um, you know I really appreciate you guys being here with me and being here for me. It really does mean quite a bit to me. Um, it's nice to have, you know, now over 2,400 subscribers that, that feel that way and, and, you know, really kind of care about what I'm doing here. So I, I just want to give a big shout out to you guys. I really, I really appreciate your support. You know, there was, there was a, there was a moment there. I was kind of teeter tottering on just like, damn, is this even worth it anymore? But honestly, I, I think it is. I think whatever I'm doing here is, is worth it, you know, and, and I love doing it. It makes me really, really happy. You know, when I, sit down and I record in my studio and I have, you know, my video games and my computer and all this kind of stuff. And, and I talk to people on discord and, and on Patreon and all sorts of stuff. It makes me genuinely happy. It makes me feel fulfilled. And I really can't get that feeling without you guys being here and supporting me. It really does mean a lot to me. It really does mean such an amazing amount. So I, I just got to say thank you so much to everybody who, you know, commented and likes, likes my videos, watches my videos, subscribes to the channel. I really do appreciate everything you guys do. So it, it means very much to me. So I'm back and I have more of a desire to do more and be more than ever before. So that's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into um, some some changes that happened during our vacation. Whoops, he's got to move that over there. Uh, so I'm back from vacation. Yes. And uh, we hit over 2,400 subscribers on the channel. So that's that's pretty awesome. Once we hit the big 330, maybe 2,500 or 30, I might be doing some something special, maybe uh, another giveaway or, or something along those lines. Um, like I said, I received a lot of support from the community. A lot of subscribers and stuff were telling me, hey, man, you know, we're here for you. Whatever you got to do, it's it's cool. And uh, I really appreciate that. You guys are you guys are fucking awesome. So every single one of you guys who likes my videos, subscribes, you know, engages with the community i really do appreciate all you guys every single one of you um we have so we have some more people pledging on patreon so that is awesome um if you're interested in pledging to patreon there's a link in the video description down below um we actually do have some updated patreon awards i actually did go and and really kind of update what is it that i give patrons every time they are a patron on patreon what is it that i can actually realistically do and so i do encourage you guys to go and check out patreon um if you're interested in some of those rewards i only ask for a dollar a month so it's down there in the video description. Um, I also want to say, if you're interested in hanging out with the community and talking about videos and stuff, Discord is growing pretty large. We've got about 40 to 50 people, which means like at any time in any 24-hour period, we probably have like four or five people online at night. Some of the moderators are awesome. There's some people from Arumba. Um, you know, his channel are over there on our Discord, and, and we love hanging out. I, I frequently talk to people on Discord to get people's opinions and such, so... I really do, um, you know, encourage you to, to be on Discord. It's, it really is a good way to grow a community. And uh, it's it's really nice to have people there that I can ask for advice and ask for, you know, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? It really does help me. So if you want to be one of those people, definitely go on Discord. Join our Discord server. It really does help help out the community. And it means a lot to me. And it means a lot to our other subscribers. So um, I really appreciate appreciate everybody on Discord who hangs out there. And, you know, we have great fun. We really have a lot of laughs. And we have some awesome moderators, you know. So... Uh, I do encourage you guys to do that. So we're going to be changing stuff up on the channel. Um, I figured what I was doing before was a little unsustainable. I was doing like three or four series with a video a day. And I realized that that might just be too much for me. And even worse, it might be too much for you guys. Um, I do realize that that is, a, that is a lot of content. That's that's about, you know, like two hours of content a day, maybe like an hour and a half, hour, 20 minutes. So what we're going to be doing now 
is I'm going to have one primary series. Um, this is this week, by the way. This is this week. You should be seeing this this day, Thursday. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be having one main series, which is seven days a week, which is most likely going to be EU4. And then uh, for any other secondary series that I'm doing, usually Total War, maybe other games that I have pre-release codes for, um, you know, like maybe like Crusader Kings 2 or Hearts of Iron 4 or something, we're going to be doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedules. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you want to see some of your favorite series, um, let me know which which one that is, what your favorite series is. Usually it's my EU4 campaigns. Those are the most... The, those are the series I get the most views um, on my channel. So those will be seven days a week. But if you want to see secondary series, just wait for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, I usually will have something out tomorrow, Friday, because today's you're supposed to be seeing this video on Thursday. Tomorrow, Friday, we'll be having um, Total War Warhammer, I believe, come out at midnight. Um, I meant to play some Crusader Kings 2. But I didn't I have not gotten word of a review code just yet. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to have. Crusader Kings 2, the new Mon Monks and Mystics. So I'll let you know. I'll probably send an email out. Um, you'll also be seeing a return of Hegemony 3. Honestly, Hegemony 3, the Eagle King, is actually fucking really awesome. It's a really awesome game. I do encourage you guys to check out more Let's Plays on it. Um, I also did a review of the game, of the DLC, if you want to check that out. But Hegemony 3 is really cool, actually. So we'll be you'll be seeing that tomorrow, Friday, 12 noon. Yeah, so we, we'll be doing Total War Warhammer. There's, there's this new Bretonia DLC that just released. Um, and then you'll be seeing that next week. So 6 a.m. time slot, Pacific Standard Time. These are all Pacific Standard Time time slots. Uh, we'll be you, uh, Europe Universals for the Albania or Iberia campaign. I'm having a lot of fun in that too. And then we'll be doing uh, Total Warhammer Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then we'll be doing Hegemony 3 Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I'm hoping to throw in a couple other um, games here in the 3 a.m. and the 9 a.m. time slot. This should be Crusader Kings 2. And this is... Probably is gonna be Hearts of Iron 4 unless I find something better to put there. Um, I will let you guys know by next week. You know, I'll probably just push an agenda video on like Sunday. Let me let you guys know what I've determined is gonna be here. So uh yeah, I just figured that's a better, more sustainable way to have some content is one primary series seven days a week, but then just have some other series on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Give people a chance to catch up, give people a chance to watch the series. Um, it's gonna take longer to complete campaigns, but I don't think that's really too much of an issue. Um, so that's nice. So, you know, um, it, hopefully this is more sustainable, I think, and I, I think it will be. Um, episodes will probably be longer as well. They're not going to be 20 minutes. They'll probably be about 30 minutes, 35 minutes, just because, you know, um, j just to kind of, you know, even it out, round out the experience. Um, usually these episodes are about 20, 25, 30 minutes. These episodes will probably definitely be 30 minutes, if not longer. So, you know, that's that makes it a little easier for me and a little easier for you just to keep a sustainable schedule. And then... Um, as far as for the future, so what we're going to be doing for the future, right now we're, you know, we're, we're in March. Um, Stellaris Utopia releases in April, actually, so i got to move this around. Um, we'll be doing Hegemony 3. I'm, I'm imagining that's going to finish up, I, I really don't know when, but it, it probably will finish up hopefully within the next month or two. Um, so Hegemony 3 will be will be finished on up. Um, 1.20, Europe Universal 4, 1.20 is, is probably... I think going to come out in summertime, like May, I'm thinking. I actually don't think it's going to be out anytime soon because we have Crusader Kings 2 in March, Stellaris in April. This is probably in May is 1.20. Unless they release it earlier or do something crazy, um, they might even be releasing this at Paradox Con, PDX Con, which is like in a month from now, a month or two. I think it's in May. I'm not sure. So, you know, we'll be doing more Total War, um, European Universals for our Albania campaign, Hegemony 3, and then hopefully this Monks and Mystics. I actually don't have any of this recorded, so... Hopefully, Monks and Mystics will come out sometime in the near future. Um, EU4 France or a 1.20 campaign, probably as Korea or Ming or something. We'd be doing that for sure. Uh, like I said, this Hearts of Iron 4 Japan, I will. I wanted to put some Hearts of Iron 4 in the in the schedule, so it might be a Japan game, a Japanese game. So we'll see how that goes. And then um, as far as live streams, um, I might be doing more live streams for now. I want to just kind of see how this schedule works out, how many games I can get reasonably within a week. On a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule for like three or four series. Uh, we might be doing live streams on Tuesdays and Thursdays and possibly on the weekends as well. But I'll let you guys know for sure. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Um, you know, I'm back better than ever. And I really do appreciate everything that, you know, you you guys do for me. And, and I hope that I'm able to bring some entertainment and some... some um, satisfaction to you guys. I hope, you know, I can help you guys learn the games that I play better and, and entertain you guys. Um, I've gotten a lot of comments that, that I'm teaching people how to play Europe, you never saw us four and all that kind of stuff. And 
I'm just like, dude, I, I don't even consider myself that good of a player. You know, I do my best to min max, I guess. Um, Arumba is definitely rubbing off on me a little bit. I'm trying to do more stuff like him now, and I really do feel like I am. I'm, j I'm just playing like him a lot now. Um, I think I cuss a lot more than he does, though. I curse way too much. But yeah, I, I feel, you know, better, better than ever. I, I really do feel happy. So, um, you know, hopefully one day this could be my full time job. And um, right now we're building the blocks to make that happen. So I can't do it without you guys. So I, I really appreciate everything that you guys do for me. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please make, let me let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments down below. Like the video or if you didn't like the video, dislike the video. It helps me out either way. Thank you so much, guys, and uh, I will see you soon. Thanks so much.